America's ace on the 20 female sprinter, Alana Reed, dethroned by the USA's Shanti Jackson. Hmm. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. And you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the race. Is Sona ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, the race for the fastest woman in the world, certainly for the fastest junior in the world, just got a little bit more interesting as over the weekend at the Music City Track Carnival. This happened on Saturday last. The American 18-year-old Shanti Jackson became the fastest junior, meaning on the 20 female run in 100 meters thus far for the 2023 season, dethroning Jamaica's very own Alana Reed. Shante Jackson's new running time of 10.89 makes her now the fourth fastest junior all time in the women's 100 meters, just ahead of Jamaica's Alana Reed, who with her 10.92 is the fifth fastest. And I should state that Tina Clayton of Jamaica is the sixth fastest with her time of 10.95. Shante Jackson did a brilliant job in this particular 100 meters. The 18-year-old United States citizen executed well against some top-tier athletes, including Melissa Jefferson. In the results, as I stated, Shante Jackson ran 10.89 uh, personal best. The win was plus 0.9 meters per second which makes this legal ahead of Courtney Johnson of the United States who ran 11.06 Brittany Brown of the United States who ran 11.06 also to take the third spot and Muriel Ohori Demps of the Ivory Coast who ran a season's best of 11.09 ahead of Melissa Jefferson who came fifth with 11.10 Clean start and a good one out of the blocks across the board as Melissa Jefferson runs in lane number four, picks up the early advantage. There in lane number six, there's Shanti Jackson as the high schooler will win it. The future. Now, Shanti Jackson was running out of lane number six in that bright yellow top. And I should tell you, she's actually a high schooler. We've been hearing a lot about this young lady over the last few months. Now, some of you may remember her um she ran in the finals of the world under 20 in cali colombia against jamaica's serena cole and tina clayton of course tina clayton won shanti jackson uh picked up that third spot behind serena cole who came second god bless got away well but now clayton's well into a running jackson's got something to do but it's going to be clayton who's running away from the field and she's won this in emphatic fashion so congrats to Shanti Jackson of the United States, now the fastest junior in the world with that 10.89 that she scored in women's 100 meter finals at the Music City recently, uh, uh, track carnival held recently, last Saturday in fact. Of course, this only makes things even more interesting because of course we all remember Alana Reed running the spectacular uh, 10.92 in the finals of the women's 100 meters at this year's Issa Boys and Girls Championships. So Alana Reed, the big favorite in lane five. Oh, how we would have loved to have seen the clash with Serena Cole because it's one apiece between them at the moment. The set position. Off they go. It's a fabulous start by Alana Reed. Alexis James of Petersfield gives chase, but Alana Reed steps away from the pack, decimates the opposition. A stunning performance! And recently in the heats of the women's 100 meters at the LA Grand Prix, we saw Alana Reed run third to the fastest woman in the world so far for the 2023 season, Shakari Richardson of the United States. Uh, and she performed. I thought very admirably. Yeah. 
Now, this of course is my two cents. Shanti Jackson has, I've been hearing a lot about her and in fact have had my eyes on her since her performance last year at the World Under 20 Championships, uh, both in the, in the heats, in the semis and in the finals. She ran really, really well. Um, so there are three youngsters, female under 20, that the entire world um, have their eyes focused on. And now that this young lady is now the fastest with this 10, 0.89 really impressive run to be very frank with you and jamaica's alana reed with a close close second um and now the fa fifth fastest all is it yes yeah, yeah i think my memory is correct i, I said that earlier um shanti jacks is fourth fastest all time now and um alana reed is fifth fastest all time now this is in the under 20 women's 100 meters by the way um, the difference in time is not as far as one might think. 10.89 and 10.92 are very, very close. So it's going to be really interesting to see these two young ladies meet um, at some point in time. Now, I know that Shanti Jackson is uh, heading to, I think it's Arkansas, if my memory serves me correctly. And um, we know that Alana Reed is heading... To Oregon so at some point in their collegiate journey these two two young ladies who are now the two fastest juniors in the world um, you know all eyes of course are going to be um, on them it has been on them for quite some time so they're going to have to meet uh, now I also believe since they're both I think they're both 18 years of age there is a very high possibility that we will see these two young ladies um, and possibly even Adija Hodge meet and run again in at this year's World Under 20, um, which would make this a really, really interesting um, process, you know. But look, people track track and feel in terms of junior talent is exploding. Shanti Jackson's 10.89 is a remarkable run kudos to this young lady and i can't wait of course you know me i'm i'm already um super excited to see uh shanti jackson versus alana reed i mean this should really be interesting the two fastest juniors in the world thus far and then if you throw in an adija hodge it's going to be pure fire <laughs> So congratulations to Shanti Jackson and of course big up you know we have to say big up to Alana Reed it's going to be it's a good look it's a great look for track and field because it means the future uh, of track and field is bright two young ladies running these crazy fast times 10.92 by Alana Reed uh, fifth fastest all time and 10.89 by Shanti Jackson of the United States fourth fastest all time and of course you have to throw in jamaica it's the, also the other jamaican in the mix six fastest all time uh tina clayton with her 10.95 people these are these are times that 10 years ago 15 years ago seniors could barely run in fact there are seniors right now who are top 30 top 40 who cannot run these times so you know so anyway um shanty jackson dethrones Alana Reed from being the fastest junior in the world for the 2023 2023 season so far. But this, of course, is my two cents. I would absolutely love to hear yours. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens. Bless up.